Hey, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Barrett. I'm Ellie Morgan. And we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. Oh, go, go you, go Elliot, go me, go us. Go humans. We are wheels down on Mars. Good job, Mr. Elliot. Good job, Mr. Joe. Oh, thank you. We had absolutely nothing to do with this. No. Uh. After 14 years of planning and $2.5 billion, the one-ton nuclear-powered Curiosity rover has safely touched down in the Gale Crater on our red neighbor. And now the car-sized piece of machinery will begin its initial two-year mission, which for all intents and purposes is a search for signs of life. Curiosity will scour the surface, doing its best Sherlock Holmes impression, busting up rocks, analyzing dust, and sniffing gases in the air in hopes of finding traces of life elements like carbon and methane. Scientists are trying to determine if Mars is or ever was capable of harboring and sustaining organisms. The state-of-the-art machine is fully loaded and well-equipped for the task. Right alongside a bunch of HD cameras, Curiosity boasts 10 scientific instruments, including an analyzing laser, an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, an X-ray diffraction and fluorescence instrument, and a bunch of other things that I wouldn't be allowed to play with. And that's cool and all, but let's take a second to appreciate how this machinery shouldn't have even survived the trip. Let's recap. First off, Curiosity survived blasting off of our planet, which is all sorts of dangerous and complicated. Then it safely traveled like, I don't know, 352 million miles without getting hit and ripped asunder by tiny space rocks. Then came the seven minutes of terror. Which included breaking the Martian atmosphere and traveling 13,000 miles per hour with a temperature of 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. The deployment of a big-ass supersonic parachute that hits with nine Gs of force and the jettison of a super hot heat shield. After all that, the rover detached from the shuttle at 200 miles an hour. Can't land at that speed, so engineers utilized a rocket-powered descent to slow down the payload, and it worked. But the craziest part is that they used a sky crane. A freaking sky crane lowered the rover 21 feet down from the rocket-powered mothership. A sky crane. And humans had nothing to do with the landing sequence. It was all computer controlled through 500,000 lines of code. And it takes 14 minutes for data to travel from Mars to Earth, so NASA and everyone watching around the world had to sit and wait for confirmation. Kind of like that. That's exactly how they looked, except some of them also had, like, telephones up to their ears. And somebody was eating a lot of peanuts. Yeah, and there was a dude with a mohawk. Curiosity could have been a nuclear pile of scrap metal, and we wouldn't have known, so everyone was incredibly tense, but when the data started streaming and the pictures started rolling in, everyone went crazy. And rightfully so. This is a huge achievement for mankind. 5,000 people from 37 states worked on this project, and Obama himself dropped a late night tweet. Tonight on planet Mars, the United States of America made history. I congratulate and thank all the men and women of NASA who made this remarkable accomplishment a reality. And NASA Administrator Charles Bolden had this to say. Everybody in the morning should be sticking their chests out and saying, that's my rover on Mars, because it belongs to everyone. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's my rover. <laughs> That's my rover on Mars. That's my rover. That's my rover. Right? That's my rover. You see that rover right there? That's my rover. That really isn't our rover. And we didn't really we didn't do really anything. Do much. Well, we did get everybody, every U.S. citizen paid $7 and the $2.5 billion through taxes. So $7? $7. That's where my tax dollars is going? Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So it's kind of ours. Yeah, it's like $7. I mean, $7 if you do the math, worth. that means I probably paid for a bolt. Yeah. So are you guys excited about this? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, you can like, you can subscribe, you can hit this annotation for five daily stories. I'm Ellie Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Bye. That's my rover. That's my rover right there.